Good day everyone. My name is Navneet Anand from Vice Article Local and Global. The side effects of lockdown. Me sitting here in Sydney, Saurabh Anand in Glenwood Studio, as well as we have with us today, Sid Benerji from Melbourne. Welcome both. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having us. When we talk about cricket, we were alone, we were alone, we were alone, we were alone. I and Saurabh have started this series, shuru ki, is episode. Ki. Saurabh Ji, I would like to tell you, Sid Benerji lives in Melbourne. He is the level one accredited coach by Cricket Australia. That's good to know. Welcome, Sid, and looking forward to your inputs. Absolutely. I'm eagerly awaiting as well. So, <laughs> good. Now, uh, Nottingham ke baad, there was a second test match in Lords. Yeah. What are the key points that come to your mind? If you're asking me the question, I would say, like, for me, I think the whole thing was more around how India actually... Um, gone above and beyond themselves in a lot of ways. There were those nagging problems, like for example, the form of Pujara and Rahane. <clears throat> I mean, uh, obviously they have, uh, it's, a, it's a team game. Everybody has a role to play. You know, uh, the way Rahul and Rohit plays is a very different ball game from Pujara's point of view. Predominantly, he wears the bowling out. It's a five-day game. It's not a T20. So it's not a quick fire 30 is all we need because um, it's the question of how long we spend on the weekend and and that way it just there's so many things that impacts out of that so i know the world is critical i mean especially uh, the non technical part of the cricketing world is uh, you know very analytical and very critical about uh, uh, the current form of pujara and rahane but apart from that the the you know the insurgence of um, uh, 126 runs and eight wickets uh, haul of um, mohammad siraj that was a revelation. And again, if you see India's bowling attack, it has a massive experience ranging from a person who has just come into the international scene in a bustling way, Mohammad Shiraz. And then you have the Ishan Sharma on the other side. So there's a massive range of expertise and knowledge and skill. And they're all different type of bowlers. One is a Seema, the other one is a Swinger. Let me, uh, let me, let me, yeah. go, to, let me go to Saurabh now. And Saurabh, yeah. you the last day of the match. Tha. What were your expectations the match shuru I think when you, if you, if you look at it, when the match started, the odds were England favourites. The second favourite were draw and then India losing. Okay, and then see how it turned around. It went from India winning the match draw and England winning completely out of the equation. So hats off to the Indian bowlers, the way they bowled. And then I want to compare with two matches. First, when we played in Brisbane earlier this year, mm -hmm. we chased and won the match. This one we defended. So this shows the strength of this team, the strength of the youngsters, the you know the way they perform. Siraj, like Sid said, absolutely he's right. Like he has come a very long way, you know. The way he's bowled, supported by Bumrah, Shami, and Sharma, it was a total team effort. Not one man okay, army what anymore. What was the turning point of that day, sort of? I think uh, uh, the way England fielded when Bumrah came to bat, that was a turning point for me. England went to take the revenge on Bumrah rather than taking his wicket, and that irked our bowlers. The the way they batted, <coughs> Shami and Bumrah. It reflected on their bowling also. I think that worked in India's favour for me. Achha, coming back to you, Sid, you talked mm. about Abhi Rahane ki baat kari, Pujara ki baat kari. Mm. Did mm. we see replacement in this game? Look, I mean, third, again... In this game, the third test that's going to happen in Leeds. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, third test is a very crucial test. So in my personal opinion, knowing Leeds, at least by the, by the um, you know, like if you go by history... Leeds, uh, India had a good uh, history in, in Leeds uh, in the past. That was two, 18 years ago, 20, 19 years ago, which is in 2002, India scored 600 plus runs. And then again, they scored, you know, the next best score was 510 in 1967. But as of now, in the last 10 to 20 years, no teams have scored beyond the 350 mark. So that is an area of concern that it is a low score game. So when it's a low score game, I think, you know, being there in the weekend and spending a lot of time will be crucial because as you all know, the the, the softer the ball, the less it uh, behaves badly for batsmen. So I think I, I don't personally see them dropping any one of those two. Uh, one is to try and keep the winning combination and two, 
this test is a crucial one because if India wins this test, I and mean, look, India should have won the first test as well if luck was in their favor. But if India wins this test, then they are 2 0 up in a five test match series. So then, if they can experiment on that fourth and the fifth test, it's purely because even if they lose, let's say in the worst case scenario, still they don't lose the series. So this is a very crucial t- uh, stage of the, of so the you series. Don't see, you, you, you don't so see, I don't see them dropping them off. Nah, I don't see. Agar aapke paas mein hao, aur baat karun, Virat Kohli ki. He has been the champion otherwise. But yeah. pichle kuch, uh, there se dekh raha hon, the form, the, the scores that need to come out of the bat from the great Virat Kohli, wo shayad hum miss kar rahe hain kahin Bilkul, I think you're, you're absolutely right. And Virat knows about it. The way when he got out in the second inning, it shows the disappointment shows on his face. Like he was fighting for his wicket. I still think um, he's he's our best batsman, and the century or a big score is not far. We might see that in next match. He is, I mean, last test match he did again. He played a wideish delivery. He he could have left it, but in the heat of the moment, he decided to chase for go for it, and then he nicked it to the keeper. So I think yeah, he is aware of it. I saw like a couple of days ago during the net practice, he spent a lot of time during uh, on the nets. So it looks like, like I agree with Sid, there might not be any changes in the team. If there is one, Ashwin might come in again, like we discussed last match. In, instead of one of the Pacers, it, he might come in. And then otherwise, I would I, I think it will be the same team. And Virat Kohli, we are expecting and, and a big knock. No, I think he will stay. He's he's uh, he's one of the mainstay from last two yes. two and a half years. His mm. batting average is more than anyone else in the team at the moment. And, and the other thing is, uh, Jadeja is a very good link between. If you if you see the way Jadeja bats, I mean, he can uh, you know block and go, and then all of a sudden he can change the gears. Ashwin's game is a little bit different, and Ashwin Ashwin is a wrist spinner. Yeah. Uh, as, as a wrist spinner, you need a bit of wicket favoring. You know, it's not a, sorry, apologies. It's a finger spinner. Uh, yeah. And in a finger spinning, you need a bit of wicket help. In a wrist spinner, you can, you know, you can even turn the ball in a dead total track. Yeah. The other point, I think from um, uh, Virat Kohli's point of view, I think that's very crucial. If you see most of his, bo- uh, most of the games, he's getting out just outside the off stump, yeah. which is in the fourth and the fifth stump, we call it. So if we, if that's the corridor, now England believes right now, that all they have to do is just have a gully, have a point, have a short cover, and keep on bowling Kohli on the fifth stump. That is a mindset. If that doesn't work, like exactly it happened with Bumrah, if the short ball didn't work, they didn't have a plan B. And that's where the game got, got away from England. If Shami and Bumrah can do, Kohli can. So all I think Kohli might be focusing on is probably changing his stance. Instead of standing on leg stump, he might go to leg and off. A little bit towards, sorry, like in the middle, a little mm-hmm. bit towards the off stump you know, so that Virat the ball Kohli comes in line of sight. Virat Kohli can be very, very lethal at times, and especially yeah. at the time when we really need him to be there. Correct. Achha, sort of talking about the pitch, the wicket on the very first day versus the wicket on the fifth day. Because there will be four uh, innings that we are expecting that to happen in all these five days. Yep. See, traditionally, leads from last like 10, 15 years, it favors the seamers. Mm-hmm. But we are at that stage of, uh, at that point of the year where the wickets are not swinging unless it's overcast. So the wickets are already dry because it's uh, already end of August. So we are not expecting too much swing unless it's overcast or raining. Otherwise, it's going to be a flat wicket with a bit of turn. Yes. I, it, from the third day onwards, now I personally, I was lucky enough to play in England, uh, in East Sussex and in Kent. I have seen what, what happens in this sort of wickets. It tends to get slower a little bit, but then there's a bit of turn comes. And that's where, uh, to Soros' point, that's where Jadeja's effectivity will be coming in. If you think of it, England doesn't have, other than Sam Curran, doesn't yeah. ha- and, and then the openers, or so let's say uh, Rory Burns stays, uh, doesn't have too many left-handers. So the away-going ball would be would be a food for thought for India. I think Jadeja will play a crucial role in that as well. Yeah. And the other point is in terms of uh, in in terms of Headingley, the um, that our team has that diversity. So if the if the if if there's swing to be utilized, you will have a lot of uh, effectivity from swing bowlers like Shami and all. But then you have deck bowlers, deck bowlers with people who get hit the deck and get movement off the deck, which is Ishan Sharma, which is Mahmud Shiraz, and a bit of yeah. Shami as well. So and and Bumrah as well. So our team is a funny combination. It's not uh, there's no James Anderson in the team. 
Yeah. yeah. What I have heard from other other people from uh, from England is they are looking at changing their side as well. They could potentially bring in, but again, dicey with with you know Stuart Stuart bodies out of the series, so that's a big loss for them. But they might look into getting Overton as coming in in okay. and again in the place of home, because um, because uh, I forgot his name, Ma- Ma- Mark Wood, Wood's um, injury. I don't know how how much it has healed. He's actually bowled well with the injury as well. If it hasn't healed, if he's not hundred percent, they might drop him to get Overton in, or they might they they might stick with the same team and say, hey, we just went t- tactically wrong, you know, nine more overs and we have had a draw. I uh, think yeah. uh, I think they might bring Sakib Mahmood, yeah, instead of uh, Mark Wood. I said Sakib is another probability for them to yes, bring. Yes, I think he might make his debut next Test match instead of Mark Again. Wood. Let's yeah. look and forward. there'll be a batting change as well. Uh, let's look best to my the game, which is uh, not too far away from now. Acha, Saurabh and Sid, before we wrap up, what I want to know, who is your favourite <laughs> from both the sides? I knew you that was coming. One favourite from both sides. Yeah. I mean, as a player or are you talking about the team? Too? I'm talking about the player. Uh, in, in, I think from India's point of view, batting definitely Rohit or Rahul. One of them has to, you can see, it's just the openers that make a big difference in the whole team. So opener Rahul has to click. He's doing really well at the moment. Rahul or Rohit, anyone is fine. And bowling wise, Bumrah has to keep on doing the good thing. Other than Bumrah, everybody will continue their own form. I mean, I'm not worried about. I was more worried about Bumrah than anybody else. If you see his first test wasn't that good as much as he thought initially, but then he made a comeback that was good. So yeah, Bumrah's form and our opener's form. Kohli and middle order, you know, where we'll see how we go. Start up. Yeah, I am putting my money on Virat Kohli for this match. I think he's due for a very long time. I am expecting a big century from him. And from Yola. England is Joe Root. It's so far it's been Joe Root versus the whole of India. Yes. So it's it's going to be same. I'm, uh, I think Don Sibley is out of the tour. They have dropped him. So Hasib Amid and Rory one's going to open, followed by uh, I think they they might bring Oli Pope. To bolster the middle order, and then uh, in the bowling department, yeah, they might bring Sakib or Overton here. So yeah. before I go to Sid, I just want to talk to you. Tell me what was your guess that score will be there on the scoreboard in the first inning? See, I expect whoever batting first. If India is batting first, I expect around three fifty to three seventy five. And if England batting first, and the way we are bowling, I think two fifty to two sixty. Sid. Um, I think low 300 for India and 250-ish for England. Hello. First. We look forward to have the similar games here in Sydney and Melbourne in the coming months. Because I England, mein, when you see the grounds are full, people sitting there with no mask and having the best of the time yes. that they can. Yes. Yeah. It has been the history here in Sydney and I think the future is going to be the same as well, not too far away from now. Mm-hmm. Before I wrap up, what's the concluding comment? From Sid. My concluding comment is India is going to win this series. That's my 100% confidence uh, on that topic. I think uh, if luck favors us, then we could win 3 0. Uh, I always leave one as a draw because sometimes the team come back. 3 1, unless it's an accident, I don't think we'll have a 3 1 result. It's either going to be 3 0 or worst case scenario 2 0. But it's going to be India's win for the series. Yeah, I agree with Sid. I think it's going to be 3 0. One might go again to rain. And then if we win the next match, we might see Surya Kumar Yadav making his debut in one I, of the I last two matches. Absolutely agree with that. Surya Kumar Yadav has to come into the team if India seals the series. Yes. Thank you so much, both Siddharth Banerjee from Melbourne and Saurabh Anand from Glenwood Studio. This is Navneet Anand from Vice Hajkal, Local and Global. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks a lot. One-stop answer to your Australian education and visa matters. Jemco Sydney. Dream big, achieve big. Fiji Times. We with the Times. For all your finance needs, contact Unique Mortgage Services. Log on to uniquemortgages.com.au